Alright, oh. so, uh, Republic. The burst machine of tier 10. Uh... No discussion. It's meta. <laughs> it's meta? I see the Black Republic yes. pushes it right out of meta. I, I put it in competitive. I was like, this thing's good, but the Black Republic removes it from meta immediately. It's just a better version of it. It might. Why can't they both be meta? Uh, so they could be. That's uh, nothing. There's no rules to say that they can't. I just feel like it's. I'd rather take a Black Republic over the regular Republic any day of the week. Of course, but uh, if you don't have a Black Republic, uh, it's still competitive. Yeah, the Republic is just as good without, you know, all, some of the bells and whistles of the Black Republic. It's still a good ship. It's still a great ship. You know, you can put it in multiple different situations and simply because, you know, of its first damage, it can win. I, I feel like so, you can just get in trouble so much easier in the Republic. Where the Black Republic, you can oh you crap, you're a little too you're a little too in trouble. Pop fuel smoke and run. And you're good, you're out. What? That's yeah, that's where I, mean, it's, so, I, I feel like it pushes it out. But maybe I think we might need side and break Republic? the tie here. Oh, let's see. Sai, where where did you put it's... the Republic? Well, if if I if I have a maxed out republic means like I have a republic with a with the historical camo and with the what is he called the captain for the French battleships? Um, Philippe. Uh, uh, the, the guy, Abinio. the guy, yeah, this this guy. Yep. Um, if you have him on, I think this ship is. I could agree with Don't Sing to put it in meta. Um, with a normal captain, I would put it in competitive. Um, but. I, th I think it's it's between competitive and meta, but probably more ac actually probably more into meta. Okay. Actually. Okay. Okay. So we broke the tie there. I think we both uh, that that moves the Republic into meta. Yeah, I I'd say you know when with you I, I once again agree with you if, if we had a tricked version and you know, with that then definitely it would be a tricked Republic going into meta and a non trick going into competitive probably. But uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't feel like the Avenue. Avenue makes it comfortable, like really comfortable, high competitive. But it's just that capabilities that the Black Republic brings. I would prefer it. But yeah, so, all, right. all right. Anything else in the Republic? I'm saying it right. Uh, see, with the Republic, the thing is that you need to be slightly better than average player to bring out the best of its ability. I mean, one of my favorite Republic videos is, um, uh, I'll send you the link in a bit. Uh, it's by a CC who doesn't really make a lot of videos, Durian. Um, oh, Durian, yeah. He, he, made, a, yeah. he made a Republic video, uh, I think, four years ago, which for me is still the epitome of how this ship should be made, even after all of this. Year. Right, add that to the yeah. description down below. People can see it as well mm -hmm. during the Great Raider. Like yeah, I'll send you the way. Perfect. Yeah, skills. I love watch. Republic. I do. I really do. It's it's just that, like, I don't know. I view the Black Republic pushes it out of meta per se, but uh, if you want to put both in, definitely. I'm totally fine with that. Now we move on to the King of Secondaries, the Schlieffen. Sai, what are you thinking? Um, okay, so I know I'm probably hurting a lot of people when I say this, especially sorry to you, Bob. I know you love Schlieffen, and I know you, you think it's it's a very, very good T10 battleship. I hate Schlieffen. I hate it. It's I, I can't get along with it. I don't know why. It's probably... I, no, no, I don't even know why I don't get along with it. It's uh, I, I would play it in playable. I don't know, maybe it's the armor for me. I feel like I'm getting punished by every other ship, but especially battleships, of course, but also heavy cruisers like Stalingrad, even Moskvas, and I don't know, all that stuff. I'm getting punished to death all the mm -hmm. time I'm playing it. And it's if, if you have a CV in battle, you can just give up. Just don't. It's 
park your ship next to an island and say, okay, I'm out of the battle. Maybe if somebody comes around the corner, shoot your torps out and it's it. But and still I don't miss like the torps because they're sea mines. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Slow speed, yeah. No, so I, so I don't like I don't like Schlieffen personally. So I put say playable. Don't sink. What do you where where'd you put it? I like the ship. I'm not very good with it, but uh, every time I play it, either I end up with twenty five thousand damage or one hundred ten thousand. There there is no in between in this ship. Right, so I put it in in a niche because it's matchmaking dependent. As I pointed out, if you have a CD up against you, especially one who knows what he's doing, you're screwed. Yep. I, I'm going to completely put it right in niche. I think this is the king of niche in Battleship because it's the tip of the mm -hmm. spear, but the opposite of the curve first. Instead of being this massive tank, no, you are going to rip this flank apart. And if you survive, that's optional. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It might happen. It might not. But this thing, you know, as Stone Snake said, it's a 25k game, or it's 150 plus, and it was a fun time. No alcohol required. You're about to have. You just got a lot after after that game. Like it just, it's not gonna happen for another five, six games with the sleeping. Just enjoy that one game. But I can completely see where you're coming from. Sa it's that is, it, it could be a rough ship to play. Yeah, pretty yeah. rough ship to play. All right, uh, let's let's talk about another rough ship to play, the Shukushima. I don't know, uh, don't sink. The, what, do, what do you think? What do you think of the Shukushima? Um, so, in my previous week, Lords, the Shukushima was this unattainable monster that you know everybody wanted and nobody had, and we made memes about the Shukushima. Once I got myself the Shukushima, I was, let's say, underwhelmed. I don't like it as much as the Yamato, which is just a better ship. Okay. So I put it, I would put it in playable. Wow, so that is... Not even I wasn't expecting playable, I was expecting niche. Mm, yeah, I mean, niche, but... Uh, Let's put it outside of niche simply because it costs me a lot of money to get to Shiki. So I don't want to be so we have a little purse. the bad. We have a little personal bias here, unfortunately, from crates. That happens with gambling. Oh, man. Um, Sai, where, where did you put it? Um, I would put it in niche. Um, the dispersion is most of the time pretty bad. So that's that's my issue with this ship. That you have six guns, and the accuracy is sometimes just trolling it out. Um, but what I do like about the Shikishima, um, like if you put it against the Yamato, is that it got better AA. Like you can at least withstand more carrier attacks than a Yamato. But still, I think that's not you enough for me prevent. to put it about niche. So See, the problem is you can't prevent a carrier attack. A carrier will still attack you. You will yep. still die to it. Yes, you will make it pay. But who was the point? Name yeah, one. Name well, one battleship, though. That name one battleship that can hold off anything above a Nakimov's full attack. Like most don't kill nothing. before they get there. Nothing. Yeah, it was like that's that's all battleships at that no. point. See, all. But the, the common perception with uh, most CD players is this: they see a, a Japanese ship they instantly think, you know, we will set this on fire. So they will go up to you with prejudice and let's say ignore uh, Mochan or even a Republic, which might be an easier target for them. Yeah. And I put Shuki in the, in the niche category for myself. That's why I'm going to probably keep it in niche because it needs the mm -hmm. RNG of Citadels to get any form of damage. And if you don't get those Citadels, it's a rough ship to get damage in, and uh, I, I get where you guys are coming from. Uh, let's put it in. <laughs> okay. okay, we got it. Now let's go from one kind of off, maybe okay ship to niche ship to uh, blatantly overpowered, in my opinion. 
<laughs> the Slava. Well, I th- I, never. I, I, never. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I, I, I think. Do we need <clears throat> to say anything more on the Slava? It's just the, the most accurate, devastating. But luckily, it takes a good amount of damage. It is a complete bastard to face. I mean, <laughs> I've shot at the Slava for seven minutes, and you know, at long range, there's nothing I can do. To that it can't do it. Well, it's it's just just do. It it. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. it's just a better Kremlin and you know better base Kremlin in everything that it does, and that's. I don't. I still don't know how much HP it has because it can, you know, get into a snipe fest against a Yamato and win. It can, you know, fight a Montana and win. It can go up against pretty much anything, and comfortably. Hold its own. I think it's because of that firepower. It's so damn accurate. It's just consistent. Whereas Yamato is accurate, but it, it still is going to have a few flyers here and there. You know, it's going to have you know, one or two that miss. Where the Slava, it's nine for nine. Almost every single salvo. And if you know how to place it, done for. At least in my opinion. So how would you nerf the Slava? I'm kidding. They don't nerf premiums in this game because the smallest would have been nerfed a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Atlantico was in pretty much need of a nerf. So, like, definitely, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. They have also have nerfed the Roma a couple of times without announcing it. Yeah, that was a soft but, nerf. Uh, yeah. You know. yeah. yeah. So, those nerfs do happen. They might not really announce those. And then again, like, what was the last time it came out with? It was a crate with like 0.001% chance of getting it. So I'm betting the data is just not much on it. I mean, whoever got it, they're all like already great players. So in the hands of those people, any ship, they'll be able to do wonders with the Conqueror. And if you hand them an overpowered beast like the Slava, imagine what kind of stats they have. So. Oh yeah, it was like handing me the FDR. Uh, it was it, when I when everyone saw my numbers, they're like, "Oh dear God, <laughs> what happens if some CV players get a hold of this? We are screwed." But now let's talk about actually another new kid on the block. Let's see, Vincent. Do you guys have how, how much? Uh, have you guys been able to test this out enough? Uh, I played a few battles with it. All right. Let's, uh... I didn't like it. You didn't? Or did? No. Nope. Sure. You did not? I did not. So, okay. did you like it? It's kind of... I, I, I loved it, actually. Like, um, of course, I have my games where it's difficult for me to play St. Vincent. Like, with almost every ship, it's always the same point. But um, I I really like St. Vincent. Like, the, the fact that you have this, uh, this superhero like that you can print your ship new, allows you to back off and try again if you push too far. You have your torpedoes on the front, so if you manage to get in range and somebody doesn't know it, you can basically get him a free citadel damage. Yep. And um, I think the accuracy is perfect. It's um, it's it's really accurate. And um, therefore, I would put it in competitive. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, now, I really like St. Vincent. Okay. Okay. Well, let's keep it in competitive right there. Don't think. You said you didn't like it. What, what was your issues with it? Um, so, my issue with it is simply that, you know, I think it takes a little too much damage. Yes, it has its super heal and everything, but uh, I, I understand it's a bad cruiser, so it is very akin to um, Schiefen, I want to say. But, and, and, you know, I will be called a noob for this, but for me, it will be in the niche category. It's not a ship that I would, you know, willingly take if I were playing in a tournament or if I wanted to enjoy myself. I'll eventually get this ship because I want every ship in this game. But uh, it's not like a priority ship. Yeah, I 
I, I'm surprised at the competitive side there. I'm surprised at that. But at the same time, I can yeah. see it. I can see it. I would say niche because sometimes it's just it takes that damage, as, as Don't Sink said. It's its armor doesn't hold much. And if you as yep. much as you can heal up a crap ton, if you have the like the different, you know, kind of different fun matchmaker, maybe you take a little too much damage early on or something like that, that heal can only do so much because you just get so much damage put on you. And as much as I love the ship. And I actually, this is like where I want the Conqueror to be at too. Like just niche. I don't want it to be competitive. I just want it to be actually pretty good niche right now. St. Vincent just does it perfectly. It is that bow tanking, HE at long range, AP menace at close range ship. And then of course <laughs> you get to shoot the little funny torpedoes at people. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love doing it. It's like my, my goal, my goal of the video. Every single game I was like, I'm going to get a torpedo on somebody. <laughs> I want to get my Mutu do. 4 Flood game again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I it, it's going to have its games where it's really good, and it's going to have its games where I think it's just it gets shut out once people learn enough of the heal. So I, I think niche, borderline competitive. I think we could, I think we would agree on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Well, I, I also have to say that this is a, a ship that I would most likely play on range. And not on close range, actually. Like, it's not a mid range ship, in my opinion, and definitely not a close range ship because I tried one game. Well, there was a half health Republic, and I was like, well, okay, you can try to push in. And this half health Republic took three quarters of my, of my health. And at the end, some other cruiser finished me off, and I was like, what just happened? So that's, that's what I get. But it's, it's, it's still, if, if you, if you know how to do it, you can definitely like do a lot with this thing, but it's um, if if you get too much damage in the beginning, it's definitely yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Okay, yeah, I, I agree. Though I would I would say you you seem to actually have liked this. What's your HE AP kind of paradigm on that? So that um, I'm almost paradigm. never shooting HE. Oh, okay. I'm 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 mostly almost shooting AP because. The pen is actually quite good, I feel. And I tried it with Nelson and with BT. And I have to say, if you use BT on it, it, f it still feels a little bit better. But if you use Nelson on it, the HE obviously feels better. But the fact that I'm not shooting HE with the ship would mean that I would put BT on it. But um, yeah, it's uh, you, you can do as you like. Yeah, I, I'm just not as good of a shot at long range, so that's why it's like HE just works better for me. But um, uh, having your games in there don't sink as well, what would you say for players if you were to suggest anything, even if you didn't like it? Because you know, the line's eventually going to come out. Uh, it's, uh, you have to be um, careful and you have to pick your moments of when to shoot, uh, keep an eye on it. Who has this even set on fire and maybe you can you know, get a quick HE salvo off and get a permafire going some, somewhere along those lines. I've tested it with both BT and with um, the, that IFHE plus Captain Nelson. Um, personally, I would go with BT. I understand a lot of people have BT on Minotaur and they will be unwilling to switch. And that's why, I mean, for me, all in all, the ship demands too many things going for it at one time to be played to an optimal level. Yeah. Yeah. I know I, I'm not moving BD off, off of Minnow. I love my Minnow too much, though. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. Me neither. I, I put my Nelson, though. I moved it from Conk to the St. Vincent grind, and we have to eventually redo everything on it. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, long grind there. 